Hello everyone, we are back with note set number three for unit one. So go ahead and get your spiral down notebook out and flip to your unit one. So we are going to add our next little thing in there, which is going to be on page five. And this note set is rewriting expressions. Another topic that you should have been taught in middle school, but we're just gonna recap it to make sure everybody is on the same page. So there's our title. Okay, so here's our notes that we're gonna do. It's the same on both sides, so we need to cut it in half and tape it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. So the notes that we're gonna talk about today is called rewriting expressions. This was a topic that was taught to you in middle school and your middle school teachers should have taught you distribute, combine like terms and simplify, simplify, simplify. That should have been what they hit home. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do these four problems real quick just to make sure that everybody's on the same page, okay? So expressions need to be written in, I just said it, simplest form. Okay. And what that means is we always need to list exponents from highest to lowest. Okay. So bigger exponents come first and then they go down in order. You'll see what I'm talking about. So let's look at number one. We're going to write out the steps that it takes to solve number one or simplify number one as we go through it. So the first thing that we have to get rid of, it's order of operations, which is PEMDAS. So these parentheses we need to take care of. And the only way to get rid of parentheses is to distribute whatever number is in front of it. So this case is a four. So step one is to distribute that four. So we're gonna distribute four. And so when we do that, it's just multiplication. So four times X is four X, four times one plus four. And this minus five here at the back, I did not do anything to it. So I'm just gonna bring it straight down. And then I move on to the next thing. So now I'm looking, I have gotten rid of parentheses. The next thing is exponents, there are none. Then I've got multiplication division, there is none. And so I've got adding and subtracting, which is the same thing as combined like terms. So second thing is combined like terms. So when we look at this, we have 4x, that can't combine to anything, but I have this positive 4 and this minus 5. Those are both constants and we can combine those. So I'm gonna bring down that 4x and then 4 minus 5 is just minus 1. And there's our simplest form of that expression. Pretty easy. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one with you. So let's look at number two. Again, we're gonna write down the steps that we needed to take care of in order to get there. So the first thing I see when I look at this are some parentheses. We have to get rid of those. And like I said earlier, the only way to get rid of parentheses is to distribute whatever number is in front of it, which this case is a five. So we're going to distribute just like that. Five times X is five X. Five times negative four is negative 20. So that gets rid of the parentheses. And then I have this two X minus three back here that I didn't do anything with. So when that happens, just bring it down because you do something with it in the next step. So plus two X minus three. Now, I have cleared my parentheses. Now I need to combine my terms. 
because I've got some terms that have X's and then I got some numbers need to take care of those. So combine like terms again. Okay, so this time I have two things I can combine. So I'm gonna start with my X's because X's always come first. I have five X plus two X. That's gonna give me seven X. I like to use different shapes. So when I have like multiple things that I have to combine, like I use squares and rectangles for those, I'll use circles this time. Just to like use pictures, it makes it easier for my brain to realize what I have to combine really fast. So I have negative 20 minus three, which that is just minus 23. And there you go. Simple as that. Okay. Now to do another one. Number three. Number three looks a little bit more intimidating, but it's not really hard at all. Okay. Well, you do it the same way that you just did one and two, and you'll crush those. So... Again, the first thing that I notice is that we have a set of parentheses. We actually have two of them, but you treat them just the same. So the first thing that we need to do is distribute. And this time, we have two numbers, so I'm not going to write by what. I'm just going to write distribute because we got to do it twice. So first thing I want you to do, this three, we're not going to do anything with that three. So I want you to just bring it down. We'll deal with him later. Now, let's talk about this first set of parentheses. This number right here is what's in front of that parentheses. So that's a negative two. So when we distribute, that's gonna flip the signs because we're multiplying by negative. So, this first little arrow I drew, so negative two times x is just negative two x. Then I have negative two times positive one that's just minus two, okay? And then I move on. I'm gonna go ahead and clear those parentheses at the same time because I don't wanna have to distribute another step. So we're gonna take care of them both right here. The thing that tricks people up a lot in this one is they are like, oh, Coach Stecker, there's not a number right there. Um, honey, yes, there is. There is an understood one right there. There's an understood one. So we're gonna distribute by positive one. So positive one times five X is just five X. Then one times negative four is just minus four. Looks good. Now, I hope that you're telling me we're not done yet because this is not simplest form. And if you try to turn something like this into me, I would just give it back to you. Because this, there are a lot of like terms that need to be combined right there. So that's going to be our step two. Again, combine like terms. Okay. Now, we need to start with X's. X's always come first. So I'm going to put a box around it. And remember, include whatever signs in front of it. So this two, that's actually a negative two. And then we got this positive 5x back here. So that's negative 2x plus 5x. So negative 2 plus 5 is going to be 3x. And then this time I have three numbers that I have to combine because these are all just constants. So I'm going to circle all of those. And so then I just literally count. Do it on your fingers if you have to. 3 minus 2 is 1. And then 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Okay. And there you go. So this note set is very much practicing on can you distribute and combine like terms and get it in simplest form. We have one more and then we're done. 
This one probably looks the most intimidating, but seriously, just follow the same steps that you've already been doing and you'll solve it just the same. So check this out. Again, we see some parentheses, so we're gonna distribute first. Distribute, that's how we get rid of those parentheses right there. So now, we're gonna do them, but we gotta do it at separate times. So this first one, let's look at this first one. So when I say look at the first one, I'm talking about you're gonna ignore everything else and only focus on what we have in this first set of parentheses. Now, what number is actually sitting right here? Because that's not just a negative sign. There's actually a number attached. It is a one. There's understood to be a one right there. So this time, we're gonna distribute by a negative one. And this time we're gonna distribute three times because there are three terms in there. So again, we're still not looking at this stuff back here. So we have negative one times x squared. Well, that's just gonna be negative x squared. We have negative one times negative three x. Negative times a negative is a positive three x. Negative one times positive two is negative two. Okay, so now, look, we got rid of that first set of parentheses and now I can only focus on this little stuff back here. So now, this is what we're going to distribute. We're gonna distribute that negative x. So now usually somebody's like, oh, I thought you could only distribute numbers. No, you can distribute letters too. And this is how it works. So we're gonna look at just this second one now. So we have negative x times x. So that's a negative times a positive, so that's negative x. And then there are two x's, so that's gotta be x squared. That's how it works. And then we have negative x times negative four. So two negatives make a positive, and that's gonna be four x. So that's how you distribute variables. So now, at the beginning when I said highest exponent comes first and then we have to go to the lowest, this is an example of that. I've been saying that x's come first. Well now, we have an x squared and an x, so which one is supposed to come first? Always, 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 the highest exponent always has to come first. So this time, when we do our little combined like terms, because that's what's next. Combine like terms. We're gonna start with our x squared instead of just our x's. So look, we have x squared, negative x squared, my bad. So negative x squared minus x squared. So this is negative one minus one. So that's gonna be negative two. So negative two x squared, so that takes care of those. Now I can deal with just the x's. So that's three x plus four x. So that's gonna be seven x. And then I got this little dude right here. I underline him because that's the next like thing that I draw when I run out of rectangles and circles. This one has nothing to combine to it. So when that happens, you just tack it on to the end or you put it where it's supposed to go, which in this case, it's supposed to go at the end. So here is our simplest form of number four. And there you go.